Hey guys, um, problem 14 here, and this is actually a pretty straightforward integral, even though it looks um, somewhat difficult. Uh, remember the uh, sine uh, double angle identity, uh, which is sine 2x is equal to um, uh, 2 sine x times cosine x. Now for cosine 2x, we have uh, three different options uh, for this right here. Uh, but uh, we know that uh, for sine 2x, we only have one choice. Uh, 2 sine x cos x. So um, let's look at what the numerator looks like before we decide on which of the three options we take on cosine of 2x. So the numerator, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> the numerator is going to be um, 2 sine x times cosine x, right? Uh, and then uh, minus sine squared x, right? And then uh, the denominator. Um, now that I see a lot of um, signs or sins, <laughs> just kidding. Um, now see, now that I see a lot of signs in the numerator, uh, it's clear that um, the option we should take for a cosine of two x is the one that says that cosine of two x um, is equal to. Oh, sorry, y'all. It's equal to um, one minus. Uh, 2 sine squared x. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, there are three different options for cosine of 2x, like I said, but we elect this one because, well, like uh, the sine sign here says we can factor out a sine, so it seems like we should make the stuff in the denominator about sine also. So 1 minus um, 2 sine squared x, right? Okay, cool. And kind of staying with the theme of making things about sine x, um, we know that we can transform this cosine squared x into 1 minus uh, sine squared x uh, from the Pythagorean identity of trig, right? So we write, um, in, in place of cosine squared x, we write 1 minus sine squared x because 1 minus sine squared x does equal cosine squared x. Yeah, and then we have dx here, yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, and um, then next, we have some simplifying steps, right? Uh, in particular, uh, in the numerator, we can factor out um, a sine x uh, from uh, both terms in the numerator. I'm considering this one term and this another term, yeah? Okay, so factoring out a sine x, we can write what remains as like, um, uh, as like 2 cosine x uh, and then minus sine x, right? Okay, this is, um, this here is the same as that there. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Um, and then uh, the denominator, uh, first, notice if I distribute this minus sign, I can write a plus here and a minus there, and then a plus there. That means that I've got um, a one, a positive one there, and a negative one there, which cancel. And then um, this uh, sine squared x, which is positive, and then uh, negative two of them here just cancel into uh, negative uh, sine squared x, right? Okay, cool or they combine to instead of cancel to, but whatever. Okay, that's a matter of preference. Um, like my preference on this um, ruler. So this ruler has two options, one of which is like zero, another is negative zero, and somehow negative zero is more horizontal, in case you cared. Now notice that the whole denominator just turns into negative sine squared x, right? And that factors as negative sine x um, times sine x, right? And um, seeing um, that I have a sine x right here, I can cancel that with that. And um, I forgot to write my dx here. But yeah, now our integral is a bit simpler. And it is, um, it is um, 2 uh, cosine x uh, minus uh, sine x, right? And then this is divided by um, it's divided by uh, negative sine x, right? Okay, negative sine x, uh, and then dx, right? Okay, cool. But wait, I can multiply the numerator and the denominator by negative one, and if I did that, uh, then I could instead write the following, which is uh, so that I have just a positive. Uh, sine x in the denominator, and what I could write is sine x, um, sine x uh, minus uh, 2 cosine x um, divided by um, 
a positive sine x, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, positive sine x and then dx, yeah? Okay, cool, cool. Um, and then next we can do the following, which is um, write that this here, right, this here, um, and like why is the integral sign so distant? Um, okay, um, and then this in turn equals um, sine x uh, divided by sine x, right? Um, and then minus uh, 2 times cosine x uh, divided by sine x, and then of course dx, right? And this is clearly just 1. And so next we can write that we have the integral of 1 dx separating into two integrals, and then minus 2 times the integral of um, cosine x um, divided by sine x and then times dx right here. Yeah, cool, 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 we're almost done. Now clearly the integral of this, or this integral, that didn't make sense, uh, equals uh, just x, and then we'll have minus two times, notice that if I make a u substitution and say that u equals sine x, then um, let me write that somewhere. So u equals sine x, then um, at this stage, uh, we're, we're trying to figure out that integral, then we've got that du equals cosine x dx. That's exactly the numerator. How sweet. So we have du divided by u um, with the substitution. And clearly, uh, we have x minus 2 times uh, the natural log of u plus c. And all we have left to do is substitute back what we said is u to sine x. So we've got that the final answer is x minus 2 times uh, ln of sine x um, and then plus C. Yeah, cool. All right, uh, keep watching.